Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games, and today we are going to be playing Dynamic Ship Simulator 3. Now, this is not your average sort of video on the channel. I usually play World of Warships Legends. I play other games as well, but this is a Roblox game, and I know, a Roblox game, right? You guys are probably wondering, am I like a 12-year-old? But no, I'm actually a pretty freaking grown-up person, and I like playing some Roblox games. Shocker. There are some pretty fun little Roblox games out there like this. This is a dynamic ship simulating game, and if you guys know me, I love ship games, and, uh, well, the developers for this game did an excellent job with it, and it's quite the fun little Roblox game. It really is. It's actually pretty nice. So... Anyway, um, I've been playing this game for a while, but I have quite a few ships, and I'm, I think for this video, just because it's the first video, I think I'm going to start with just a regular fishing trawler, because maybe some of you guys might be watching this to learn a bit, and maybe I can teach you a little bit, but also kind of show you guys what the game is all about as well. Um, like, for example, I've got my G2 and stuff, and uh, I mean, that's, I'm not like by means the best player, but... I've got some pretty nice stuff, like the G2 Carrier. It's basically a big cargo ship, right? I'm trying to grind for other things, but um, I've got a lot of boats, the point is. And I think what we're going to go and do is we're just going to spawn in at Hull Buoying. It's basically a little um, it's a little uh, port island, if you will, and it's a pretty good area to start your fishing journey. If you're starting the game, I do recommend starting at Hull Buoying or Hull Buoying. Hull Buoying? I don't know. I'm just going to call it Buoying. This is probably your best starting area. It's pretty uh, it's pretty welcoming to, to noobs. No offense. I mean, everybody starts somewhere. But if you are starting out the game, I would recommend spawning at Hull Buoying and just picking your, uh, your basic uh, fishing trawler, which should be on the right, I think... Right over here, uh, where is the basic fishing trawler? I have no freaking idea. I've got a Liberty thing, and maybe it's in here, I'm just blind. I'm blind, yeah, guys, fishing cutter, there we go. So, this is what most of you guys will be starting with, a basic fishing cutter. Uh, I think I have this thing fully upgraded, so I'm just gonna take this thing out, and we're gonna show you guys how to basically fish, all right? We're gonna take away the chat, do all that. We're just gonna, we're gonna join an alliance. Uh, this is one big thing too, for, for newer players, um, basically, you got your game, right? What you want to be doing, go to the top here, click the little Windows icon, or the little four squares. Go over to Fleets, and then join, like, the biggest fleet you can join. Grind. Uh, that's a pretty big one. Uh, but there's also this one. Um, I'm gonna join this one, because a lot more players. And basically, joining a fleet is very good, because when you join a fleet, you can make a lot more money that way, okay? So joining a fleet is super important because basically anybody in the alliance, if they if they deliver cargo or whatever, you get a cut of their payment. So like if they make ten thousand dollars, you get like a couple grand. So you actually make more money doing this. It's really important. Join a fleet if there is some, especially in a populated server. Like I would recommend going to like a server browser and finding a big server so you could potentially get into a bigger alliance. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah. Now, one thing to keep in mind, uh, WASD obviously is your controls to go forwards and back up, all that stuff. But uh, you want to be keeping an eye on your fuel. You've, like, I've got 45% fuel, so what I want to do is stop real quick. Click M. M on your keyboard, not N, but M, as in, uh, I don't know, anything. But M, and you want <clears> to <throat> go down to here, and you want to look at your map, obviously where you're at. We spawn at Hull Blind, so we spawn here, this is us. We want to probably come around, do a U-turn, and stop at the uh, the little fuel icon because we are low on fuel. We only got 45% fuel. If you run out of fuel in the middle of the ocean, um, well, let's just say if you use some common sense, it's probably not going to be a good. It's probably not going to be a good time. Okay. Also, one thing too, watch out for this. Your depth to kill meter. This little thing here with my mouse circling right here. Watch this because if this if you hit like an island, you will take on water and you will sink. So be very careful. Watch where you're going. Don't stick too close to the land here, because it is shallow water there. You want to make sure that you're careful, okay? Be very careful. That's all I have to say. All right. So, with all that being said, what we're going to go and do... See that little uh, black box there? That's your fueling station. So what we're going to go and do is turn into that. We're going to park. Or not park, but rather we're going to stop. And we are going to get some fuel. Pretty important, obviously, so we don't run out of fuel in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> that would be a bad day. So, we're going to stop here. <clears throat> we're going to get some fuel. And uh, we'll be uh, going out there and doing some fishing. So, refuel, 400 credits. And we should be all good to go once we get that refueled. 
There's a tornado out in the horizon as well. Pretty interesting. But we're going to click. So basically what we want to do to start fishing is what you want to do is sail in a straight line and click 1. All right, it has to exceed 80 meters. So we need to get out to deeper water. But once we get out to deeper water, I guess we'll just follow this guy. Looks like a Japanese ship. He's got a Japanese flag on. Pretty cool. What we're going to go and do is we're going to sail straight. We're going to click 1 on our keyboard. Boom. It's going to deploy a net. As you guys can see off the back, it's going to deploy a nice little net. And we should be able to catch some fishies and stuff. You can't see it. It's pretty dark, but... You can catch some fishies, okay? Now, one thing to, t to do as well, okay, once you got all this stuff done, you got your fuel, you got your net deployed, click N, okay, click N to turn on your navigation lights, see here? You can click N again to turn them off, all right, but I keep them on, especially at night. It's very, it's very courteous, it's very kind, giving people uh, a warning, okay? Now, click L to turn on lights, all right, so you can just basically make your ship nice and bright so people can actually freaking see where you're at. You don't want to crash into somebody. Let's just say that. And you can click H to horn. Sorry if you got deaf there temporarily, but pretty important stuff. Now, if you guys look at the bottom, over time, this will slowly fill up your little trawl net, right? This will fill up. Once it reaches 100%, you want to go bring it to a fishing pier. Whoops, I just horned the back and I tried to click M. I click, I click the H. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to the fishing area. Because if we go to the fishing area, we get extra, um, we basically fill the net quicker. <clears throat> so going to the fishing area is actually better. Because this will fill up a lot slower if we're not in a fishing area. But if we actually go over to the fishing area, like if we double click on the map here, we can place a marker and it shows us uh, where we got to go here. But yeah, we're going to pop our net now and we're just going to sail towards that fishing area. And once we reach it, we should make a lot more or catch a lot more fish. Um, basically being in this circle will give us a lot more fish essentially okay so <clears throat> that's what we're going to be doing we're just gonna be sailing out there and we're gonna catch some more fishies now once this fills once this trawl net fills up to 100 percent then what we're gonna do is we'll do we'll uh, retract our net and we will make our way to this little fishing p here that means port or pier all right we're gonna make our way to the fishing pier and we'll sell all of our fish remember be careful this is, a, this is a ship simulator game. It's not perfect, but it's a ship simulator. So you want to be careful. Don't be crashing into rocks. Watch your depth keel here. Your little uh, your little icon here shows you how deep the water is. You just got to keep an eye on that. Because remember, if you crash into the land, it's going to be a bad day. All right? So be very careful. Watch where you're going. All right? One thing I wanted to point out as well. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out was this little thing here. This little compass kind of shows you where you're going. All right, it's pretty nice to have. Also over here, to radio. Um, but right now I don't have any radio on. I just use Spotify. <laughs> it's a pretty nice app. There's also some settings you can turn on. I would recommend turning off PvP. When you're trying to grind for money um, and you're not trying to get bothered, I would suggest turning off PvP. It's pretty important. I have it disabled, obviously. Teleport request, you can have this on. Like if you got a friend that wants to come on or just some random guy, I mean, you can have it on. I just have it on because... Sometimes it's pretty cool to have people on my ship, but be careful if you do step off the seat If you actually get off of your your uh, your helm people can actually take control of your ship So be careful be careful Um, you can do some stuff here like wood and hud Receive distress calls. I had that off because I can get annoying some people are pretty um Well, let's just say some people turn that on on purpose and it gets really really annoying Anti-lag I put that on sounds good. So why not? You can turn off ramming damage. Basically, that prevents people from ramming you and doing damage. I think that's pretty important. Shallow water alert. I keep that on. Fleet ship markers. I keep that on. Render ship previews. You can turn that on or off. I just have it off. I don't really care. High distance ships. Turn that on. Yeah, there's, there's basically, guys, a bunch of settings you can fiddle with. This is definitely helpful um, if you're trying to, like, you know, do stuff. There's also a store. If you guys want to go full-on wallet warrior mode, you guys can buy some stuff. I don't really buy much stuff at all, but yeah. Anywho, we're uh, still sailing uh, towards the fishing area here. We have about 50% filled up, and I guess while we're here, I might as well show you guys what happens when you're in the fishing area. I've, obviously, you guys can see how slow we're filling up the net. We're like really not filling it up at all. But once we get inside the fishing area, we should start catching a lot more fish, okay? So that's really important to keep in mind. I remember back in the day when fishing used to just be a box. You would go up to it, click it, get fish. Now it's actually, you're actually fishing. 
Now look how fast this is filling up. Once it's like one tick every two, three seconds. You're filling up so much quicker when you're in the fishing area, okay? So pretty important. But once you fill it all the way up to 100%, then what we're going to go and do is we'll head back towards the fishing pier. Now, actually, someone has the uh, Edmund Fitzgerald. That's pretty cool. I'm kind of jealous. I do want that thing. Just because it's the Edmund Fitzgerald. I'm from Michigan, if you believe it or not. And, uh, well, the Edmund Fitzgerald is, like, one of the most famous, if not the famous, like, the most famous um, freighters on the Great Lakes. So I, I really would like to get that thing. Also, look how much money I just made. I just made 51,000 credits just from somebody selling their cargo. See, that's the power of fleets right there. That's someone that just sold their whole load, basically. And, well, I just got paid an absolute crap ton of money for it. Now, what we're going to go and do, a little strategy, before it fills up, turn around in advance, okay? So you don't keep selling out, basically, because we're going to go back anyway. So I'm just going to turn around in advance, and I'm going to pop my net here once we get into a straight line. Remember, it won't pop if you're not in a straight line. But once we're in a straight line, I'm going to pop it, and we should be good to just go back to port, okay? So what we're going to go and do, we're going to head back to the fishing pier, and we're going to go ahead and uh, sell our stuff. By the time we get there, this should be filled up. So, There's also, if you look on the horizon, there's a nice Fitzgerald-class frigate, or uh, rather a freighter. Pretty freaking cool, man. Pretty freaking cool. I'm actually going to go into chat and um, say nice Fritz. Uh, Fitz, rather, not Fritz. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, though. But, um, yeah. My little horn. Is that actually sinking? Oh my god, the fr the Fritz is actually sinking, and someone's reporting people in chat. Okay. Well, someone's causing some mayhem. But, we're not gonna look at that. I'm gonna turn that off. You also can turn off chat. I think most of you guys know this if you've been playing Roblox, but you can turn off chat by clicking it. <laughs> you do not want to hear some of the stuff that people are saying. But... We just popped our uh, our net. We got 100% filled, so all we're going to do is we're just going to sail back to port, and we're going to look at the sinking fits. I, I, I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he's role-playing. I, I don't know. <clears throat> but, um, well, there's that. Yeah, also, keep an eye out on the horizon, because, um, like, obviously, ship here. There's a tornado over there. You want to definitely watch where you're going, and also, icebergs are a thing as well. So it's pretty important to kind of be keeping an eye out on the horizon for stuff. Like, you never know. There could be some icebergs, and you hit one, and it could absolutely wreck your ship, okay? So be very careful, and um, just keep, it, keep a weary out on the horizon. And this Fitzgerald is going down town, okay? That's pretty bad. Looks like the Coast Guard is actually going to pick him up here. That works. That works. I'm just going to sail past. Don't mind me. Do not mind me one bit. Pretty cool, though. People look like they're RPing. Nice. That is definitely going to be the screenshot. <laughs> How do I hide my HUD? Here we go. I gotta get a thumbnail, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my. Jesus. There's the thumbnail, ladies and gentlemen. But yes. There we go. I do apologize uh, for the Ooh, what happened to my mouse here? It's not fun. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, still messed up. What the heck? What happened? What happened to my mouse? You know, I won't even question it. I don't know what the heck happened to my mouse, but, you know, stuff happens. Uh, is it like my thing? Ah, it's control, uh, shift. Okay. Yeah, when I did my, uh, control shift C to, um, to take a screenshot, yeah, it kind of messed it up. <laughs> Gotta love it. But, yeah. Anyway, this is um, basically Dynamic Ship Simulator. It's literally a ship sim. A lot of people probably aren't going to like this if you have like a short attention span. No offense, but this is one of those games that you can't rush. you got to be a little, you know, a little careful, basically. It's a ship sim, kind of. It's not perfect. I mean, it's still a Roblox game, right? It's not going to be like super simulated, right? But it is pretty damn cool, okay? It is pretty damn cool. And, uh... Now, if you guys are wondering where the ship, uh, where the fishing pier is, it's a little yellow stuff there. You guys will notice it. It's the yellow um, crates, if you guys can't see it there. But it's those little things from where my mouse is. That's the fishing pier, okay? That's where you sell your fish. So what we're going to go and do, and also there's a light freighter, it looks like. Pretty awesome. There we go. There we go. He doesn't have his lights on. 
Also, we just got another 48,000 credits just from our alliance. We just made 100,000 credits alone from our little uh, alliance. I keep saying alliance because I'm used to Sea of Thieves. <laughs> I do apologize if it's confusing, but fleets, alliance, is same thing in my book. But uh, yeah, we're going to pull right in here. Make sure you're slow. Be careful. Slow down. Do your thing. I'm probably going to show my HUD so I can see my speed because you might scratch the island like that. But we're going to sell for 2,000 credits. And uh, yeah, there we go. So not a lot of money, but when you're in a, when you're in a fleet, you make a lot of money. Like it's a lot easier to make money when you're in a fleet because obviously we just made like a hundred grand, literally from being in a fleet. Pretty hilarious. But uh, yeah, that's that. So we're gonna go on a reset ro real quick, and I'm gonna show you guys what you can do if you want to buy a new ship. Okay, so let's just assume that you guys got the money. If you want to buy a new ship, here's what you do: you come over to ships. And you come and buy a new ship. So the ship I would recommend you first getting is a bulk carrier. Um, now I think this thing costs um, fifty thousand. But basically, what you want to do is get cargo ships. Okay, so like bulk carrier, um, you want to get ships like um, you want to get ships like. Um, oh, let me find it. Oil tankers, stuff like that. You want to get the big cargo ships, cruise ferries. Anything that has container ships, especially like the Alabama, <clears throat> this is a phenomenal grinder when you're starting out the game, if you can manage to save enough credits for that. Basically, guys, what you want to be doing, you want to come in here and you want to be looking at ships to buy, okay? I would recommend for your first freighter, get a light freighter or get a bulk carrier and eventually work your way up. Just keep buying stuff. Keep buying good ships, okay? Uh, light container ships, a good one as well, once you get enough credits for that. Um... And then even get yourself an oil tanker. Oil tanker's pretty good as well. Um, and eventually, when you get yourself an Alabama, what I would recommend doing is from Alabama, what you want to be doing is working your way towards the G2, okay? The G2 is what I have. And eventually, from the G2, <clears throat> I'm going to buy the Fitzgerald. Just because of the history, the Edmund Fitzgerald is one of those uh, one of those really famous ships. So I just want to get that just because of the, because of the uh, his historicalness. And eventually, when you get really far into the game... You can buy stuff like these uh, submarines and stuff for uh, stuff. But yeah, the LNG. This is the uh, big ship, um, and it's only for Game Pass users, or like the Game Pass um, <clears throat> from Dynamic Ship Simulator 2. But, uh, oh, where's the biggest ship um, For in terms of... Yeah, here we go. The Arctic-class LNG. 140 million credits. Yeah, it's, it's nuts. This ship is absolutely ginormous. Um, absolutely ginormous. And there's actually people who do have it. So, basically, guys, what you want to be doing is working your way up. <clears throat> keep the grind. Do fleets. Fleets are an excellent way of making money. Extra money. Because a lot of these people have bigger ships. And you can make a lot of stuff. But, anyways, guys, that's going to be it. Welcome to Dynamic Ship Simulator 2. Or, rather, 3. Uh, if you guys have liked this video, if you guys have learned something, and maybe you just enjoyed the video, go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys thought of it. And regardless, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy. As always.